Hey, this is a small video on triple integrals like what they are, what do we get from them and why do we do them. So before starting to triple integrals, uh, let's have a look at what integration gives us. So let's say we have function f of x and if we integrate that function f of x with respect to dx, what we are bound to get is that area under that function. So if we integrate f of x with respect to dx that is one dimension what we get is a two dimensional thing that is area. So similarly if we do double integrals of f of x comma y along a 2d element that is dA what we are bound to get is the volume of that function. So if we integrate f of x comma y with respect to dA what we get is volume. So from single integral we got area and from and from double integral we get volume. So if we do similar thing for triple integrals what we get is a 4D quantity. But uh, that is not what we do triple integrals for like we don't deal with 4D all the time unless and until you are an astrophysicist. So a good way to look at it let's imagine if we have uh, a a function p x comma y comma z which is a specific property let's say it's a density function so so if we integrate the function along the volume v that is p x comma y comma z with respect to dv we get the total of that specific property for example let's say p is the mass density function m x comma y comma z so if we integrate m with respect to dv what we get is the total mass of the volume similarly if we put p is equal to 1 so it's simply we integrate v uh, so it's simply we integrate dv which gives us the total volume but uh, what if the property is not additive like uh, mass was an additive property but what if we have some different property so if we have some non additive property like g x comma y comma z so one thing we can get is the average of that property so uh, if we integrate the g function with respect to dv and divide it by the total volume we get the average of the property a good example here is if uh, g is a pressure distribution function we can get the average pressure of the volume similarly if g is a temperature distribution function we get the average temperature. Uh, another thing that we can get from is uh, the CG coordinate of the mass for a given volume. And many things we can get from here is moment of inertia, aerial inertia, and uh, moment about a given axis for a volume, and so on. So that is the reason we use triple integrals and Thanks for watching.